the sixth president of the United States and the son of the second president of the United States, John Adams. So a very, a very important person, that's by, by the VIP, yes. Uh, John Quincy, Quincy Adams was here 200 years ago, uh, approximately. And John Quincy Adams uh, wrote Letters on Silesia, you know? Letters on Silesia. And this is a, f a fascinating basis, basis for, for uh, international communication. <laughs> so, in fact, also the American culture in, in, in uh, Silesia, the American, American culture which is talking to the Polish culture and also to the German culture, you know. So this this was very interesting uh, uh, interesting for me, very fascinating when I discovered it. And this is a piece of text of John Quincy Adams. We traveled here uh, in the year 1800, you can see. And he, he wrote this, this words at that time. Uh, you can just uh, see it. Uh, John Quincy Adams spoke fluently German. He spoke fluently German. And we, Polish people, like Adams very much. Because, I mean, Polish patriots like Adams very much because he wrote in these letters also that he don't like Prussians, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the Prussians, the Prussians, it was just 20 years after, after dividing Poland between Prussia, Russia and Austria, you know? So, uh, so it, was, it was really good to, to, to read it. Uh, at that time, it is, uh, uh, it is good today to read it, you know, uh, to read these words. Uh, you can see, uh, not only not only German author uh, uh, wrote words of love to the uh, towards the landscape, but also uh, John Quincy Adam, Adams wrote uh, 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 this, these words. Nothing can be more beautiful than the situation of Hitchberg. Now this is Yelena Gura. It says, "And handsomely built town with a number of noble edifices situated." in a valley surrounded by hills, more or less elevated on every side, with the sublime gloom of the giant mountains as the background of the sea. So this, this, these are words of your, of your president, of, of, of John Quincy Adams.